My name is Nancy Akubo. I'm the Head of Communications at the Institute of Certified Public Accountants of Uganda. ICPAU is commonly abbreviated as ICPAU ISPAU or CPA Uganda. Every year, uh, the Institute of Certified Public Accountants of Uganda, the Capital Markets Authority, Uganda Securities Exchange, and the New Vision organize the Financial Reporting Awards to promote best practices in financial reporting and also to recognize organizations that, that have complied with international financial reporting standards. So over the years, there are organizations that have consistently excelled. And you might be there, you're a CFO, you're a finance manager, you're an accountant, and you are wondering, what can I do differently? You probably haven't won an award yet, and you're wondering, is there anything I can do differently? How do I integrate and adopt integrated thinking and reporting into our practices as an organization? So today, we will be chatting with CPA Samuel Mokeza. Sam is the Chief Financial Officer for Stanbic Bank Uganda Limited. Stanbic Bank has won five gold awards in financial reporting. So the gold award is the, is the highest honor in financial reporting. So we're just going to chat with Sam. He's going to share with us some knowledge and some insights in financial reporting. I'm sure you're going to be able to learn a lot. Hi, Sam. Hi, how are you today? Very good. Very good. Um, congratulations. Thank you. It's been it's been a good year for the bank, I, I should say. Starting with the accountancy service awards in September. The Standing Bank Finance Team won finance team And then at the Fire Awards this year in November, you won five Fire Awards. The celebrity report and governance. Best listed entity banking services and then finally the Oh, I think to what you say, Nancy, it's been a very strong year for the bank. And it's been one where we've tried to be very deliberate about the things we need to do to build that excellence that we've seen come out and to partner effectively as a team, but also with our broader team members across the bank to be able to deliver at the outcomes that we saw. So it was uh, very gratifying to see the outcome of that process and uh, you know, very thankful that we were able to enjoy a special year like this. Thanks again. Thank you. Um, so the people that are watching this video probably do wonder if Zambic Bank has participated a number of times, but this is the ninth year that we have built the financial reporting awards. And over the years, you have won gold awards like we already mentioned more than once and there is a, there is a tendency for some institutions to develop complacency but that has not been the case for staff. So why the continuous participation? Thank you, it's a great question because I think first of all for us we truly believe that the fire work process is a, a very critical insight process for us as Every time we've participated, and as you rightly say, we've participated actually since inception. So we've been part of this from the very beginning. Because we understand that there is a valuable feedback that comes from the process that gives us insights about what we should be doing differently and what we can do to improve. And ultimately, how we can create a much more valuable report for us. So that for us is really important. How do we make the experience for readers uh, those who are looking to understand the organization uh, to have a, a richer experience from that process and uh, being able to get a lot of insight participating across the years. Excellent. Um, so, five, five older ones. Well, um, it's, it's, um, I think, first of all, it's important to where, where, where do you start the journey? I think that's important. Right? Because we start with the view that says we want to create uh, a valuable report, valuable insights for our readers, for, for readers of this report. And then to start to say, how do we create a connected report, an integrated report, 
that captures all key aspects of the organization in a simple way, in a manner that the readers can be able to, our stakeholders, our shareholders can be able to look at the report and have a really insightful process looking at that report. So we start off by clarifying what does a valuable report look like for our stakeholders? And who then are the key stakeholders we need to engage with internally and externally to be able to build a story around this because an integrated report is very much a story of the organization. So we are very deliberate about uh, identifying these partners across the business. So it's not just a finance team, it's also teams from different parts of the organization. And then defining what uh, valuable components we need to have embedded that they all contribute to. Uh, and then out of that process, we generate this report that actually starts to get generated from the start of the year. So we build up the story across the entire year. And uh, so by the time we complete, that's been really a product of all that interaction. So it's to keep the organization connected to the entire process, which has helped us. It's interesting that you have said the process of integrated thinking starts at the onset of the year. For many, for many organizations, it's really not starting to prepare for the reports so and that thing gets you, it gets, gets to go. But um, what are your thoughts on integrated reporting? So I like what you said about integrated thinking and reporting. Because before you come to the reporting phase, you must integrate how you think about the organization, how you think about uh, the outputs that you're looking to, to produce. And integrated thinking is about understanding the connectedness of the organization and understanding the different components that create the value, that collectively create the value of the organization that delivers. So integrated reporting is very similar to say, when we speak about reporting, it's not just a financial aspect, it's not just a financial audience, it's what those non-financial uh, drivers of the organization that collectively work together to make sure that we have the financial outcome. And I use the word outcome intention because all that is the outcome of the non-financial uh, aspects that have been running in the organization. And to be effectively, to be able to effectively report, one must capture that story completely. Both those non-financial aspects that then link into the financial outcomes. And the thinking of the organization must be aligned. So that we're not just chasing the outcomes, but actually we're asking ourselves, what are those areas that are non-financial that lead us to the financial outcomes we're looking to achieve? Everybody, it's not just uh, the responsibility of the CEO or the all different elements of the organization have to work together to ensure that the organization achieves an integrated report. We are very far from, we are, we are very far from achieving integrated report, as you can. Know. I say this because there's so many reports that you still, that we still see find that an organization has submitted the financial statement separately and the corporate information is separate. Actually, in, in, in some instances, the financial statements are black and white, and then there's color for this other section. So you find that there's three documents, and there's very little interlinkage and connection. What do you, what do you think is, what do you think is inhibiting? Fully That's a good question, and uh, I think that part of it is linked to how we, what we refer to as integrated thinking. So, to a large extent, you might find some organizations reporting as an event. And that for me is a fast challenge. Uh, reporting should be seen as a live process. So, you build up the story across the year uh, so that you don't look to connect it at the end but you're seeing the connected aspects of this story as you go through the year. And that's a very important aspect that allows you know, organizations to then tell the story in a connected manner. You shouldn't see it as two items you need to connect together, but they have a natural connecting point. And it's really powerful for we find as an organization to do that meaningfully early in the process. Because also when we are, reporting then becomes a very live tool to influence business behavior on the non-financial aspects we need to focus on that to lead us to those outcomes. Be the issues around sustainability, issues around corporate governance, uh, and 
how we connect all these dots around the employees to be able to deliver the financial outcomes that we target. Okay. I also want to ask, how has Stanley Bank consistent exit? I think it's very powerful. One of the things that is really important to us around what the firewall stands for, it's a proclamation of belief in transparency and the ethics. And for us to just to participate sends a message that we believe in the principles of ethics and transparency. So even before winning the award, just participating in my mind is a win because it says this is an organization committed to the principles of ethics and transparency. Now, when we are privileged as we have been to, we send an even stronger message. And our shareholders can trust our reports. They, they, they believe and see this is an organization that is very deliberate about going the extra mile in, in reporting with transparency and clarity to those shareholders so they can make more informed decisions. So that's been very powerful for us. Another big question is about the financial Do I have to invest substantially, especially financially, in ensuring that I produce a good annual report? What do you think? That's a great question. And, uh, I, I hear this question in many, many different forums. Uh, and then it really asks the question that what resources, when we say resources, what do we mean by resources? So, of course, we need people who are committed to the task, we need people who are going to be um, available to execute. We need Partnerships, you need people who will support you, need high quality vendors who will be able to support you along the way. Uh, so, there are certain resources along the value chain that you need to create a report. But the myth there is that you need a lot of resources and you need a big budget of, uh, of, of large amounts of money to be able to create these reports. Actually, what we find in Stanley is the single biggest factor for us is teamwork and partnership. It's less about the money that is involved in printing the reports, and it's more around how we connect as an organization to send a clear, coherent story of the organization. And if one focuses on that, they will be, they be able to create a meaningful report. Because a meaningful report is about a connected story, an integrated story. And I think that for me is the most powerful enabler to a successful report. That's powerful. There's one thing that, uh, that you know that keeps coming to mind as well. As um, as an organization, there's always one person that steals the ship or financial report. We see CFO or finance manager. You have correctly said that different uh, departments or elements of the organization must come together and then work coherently uh, to be able to ensure that the organization achieves uh, an integrated report. What is the role of the CEO and are there certain are there certain qualities or skills that a CEO must harness to ensure that they steer this ship correctly? No, I think um, it's a great question. We, I think, a CEO provides the leadership in this process. And what does leadership mean? What does it look like? Leadership means Clarifying what you want to achieve, clarifying what makes it important. So you have to communicate with clarity to the people who are going to be part of the process. Um, setting the standards, uh, the right ethical standards starts from leadership. Uh, I believe that ethics is um, either affirmed or destroyed by leadership. So ethics is such a foundational aspect of our reporting. So the messaging around the eccentricity of ethics and transparency is also driven by the CFO. Um, the vision for what um, the aspiration looks like is also to a large extent enabled by the leadership. So you have to inspire people to continually look to improve, uh, no matter what you've won in the past. In fact, I find that past success sometimes is a distraction. You have to forget it and say, how do we 
continually think, think forward, forward. Think forward yeah, and, and, yeah. and find new ways to be more valuable into the future. And that's a very important part of what the CFO does. And uh, lastly, uh, which is, I believe, also very important, is drive the spirit of collaboration and um, connecting the different units and getting people to uh, see beyond their spaces to say, how do we think as an organization to achieve a more effective, sustainable outcome in terms of how we do a report in the Thank you so much, Sam, for sharing unreservedly. I have personally not a lot, and for me, what I have, uh, what has come out strongly for me, there's two things. One of them is teamwork, and we have emphasized teamwork over and over again. Our organizations have emphasized teamwork. So for me, I think the fact that you have emphasized that it's not just the responsibility of the CFO or the finance department, but marketing must come on board, operations must come on board, communication. It's technical uh, support and all these elements must work closely together. And then the other thing that, that that's really struck me is continuous uh, improvement. No, there's no room for complacency. It's like I said earlier, the temptation to become complacent, especially after winning the highest award, is usually high. But I like that Stanley Bank continuously participates and that you, you, you implement the feedback that is, that is given to you. So um, before we close, we are learning from each other, and those that are watching are also learning. Uh, what do you have to? What what advice do you have for feedback for um, your clients, CMA, CMA, ICPA? Okay, right. Um, just before I speak to that, I just want to come up to the point you talked about learning, and one of the benefits, one of the strongest enablers for is a hunger to learn, uh, a hunger to, and a humility to learn. And as an organization, we try to maintain that hunger and humility to learn and uh, to continually look to say um, it's less important to, to take pride in the information you have, but to pursue new information that will help you to get better. So being part of this process is a strong factor for us in that. How do we continue to learn from, from the process? So I must first comment the organizers. Um, there's been such rich quality feedback that we received. It's been I cannot over uh, emphasize how useful it's been to us in improving our reports. I must comment and thank uh, the uh, sponsors for this event. The second thing I must also say that the uh, the excellence in which it's done and executed is very well done. And one compares to different events of similar nature, and one says that this is a real function, a real process of weight, so I think it's important to say that. And uh, there's always areas we can improve, and I think one of the things maybe we should just think about is um, how do we get how do we get more uh, government entities to be part of this? We need to drive uh, the message of transparency uh, as deep and as wide as we can. I noticed that across the board in Kenya, there were counties that were participating in the fireworks for the first time. For that amazing. How do we get government agencies to be so keen to do this that they would drive participation? I think that's going to be a powerful point. And then, how do we get more sponsors involved? Um, it's such a rich event, and if we can get more partnerships and more, uh, whether they're sponsors or other participants in, in, in enabling the event, I think it will make a, a richer process. But it's been excellent. Uh, but it can always get better. It's a definitely uh, continuous improvement. Continuous improvement. Wow. Thank you, Sam. Um, thank you so much, guys, for watching. I think you have heard it from Sam. Um, sometimes it's good to, to learn from and hear from peers and colleagues in the profession. And like I said earlier, Sam has unreservedly shared his insights and thoughts on financial reporting. Please implement, implement, implement. Um, next year we will have the financial reporting awards again and uh, next year it's special because we will be commemorating the 10th anniversary of financial reporting in Uganda. Look out for the submission dates, usually it's between uh, June to September. So please submit your new report. Thank you for watching. Please share this video.